Welcome everyone, my name is Echo. Today's video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Minecraft's new editor game mode so you can do cool things like this. This is a completely separate app and I want to show you how it works. The first thing you need to do is get the Minecraft launcher from the Microsoft Store. This is not the same one that you boot up Minecraft Java with. Just install this, it is completely free. Now for those of you who do already have this, Awesome. You just want to head over to this little button here, check your games, and make sure your Minecraft preview version is updated to the latest version. If you were doing this as a fresh install, just open the Minecraft launcher that you've downloaded from the Microsoft Store. It will feature Minecraft Java, it will feature Minecraft Windows, Dungeons, and the soon-to-be-released Minecraft Legends. You want to go to Minecraft Windows. You've got Play, and you also have Preview. If you do not have this installed, it's going to ask you to install right here. Again, it is completely free, and it is completely different from the base game of Minecraft. Once you've installed this, you want to boot it up. In order to get the Minecraft Editor Game Mode, you need to be at least on the version 1.19.80.20 or above. If you're watching this video and the version is a lot higher, don't worry. If it's 1.20, do not worry. As long as you have 1.19.80.20 and above, this will work for you. Once you do have this version of Minecraft, all you want to do is exit out and close it down. Next, anywhere on your desktop, right click, click on new, and then click on shortcuts. This box is going to pop up. All you want to do is put this command in there. I'll leave it down below so you can just copy and paste it. Second box is going to pop up. This is where you call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine Minecraft Editor Mode. Call it whatever you want and then click Finish. A second app is going to be created on your desktop. All you want to do is boot this up. Now, if you have done this correctly, you're going to see a Create Project option. And we've done this correctly and create a new project is now available. This is different from the Minecraft preview, but they do run on the same game, which is really strange. So you can't boot up the original 1.19.8.20 beta and have access to this as well. At this point, you just want to go ahead and create a project. I'm just going to put in create it real quick for the sake of today's tutorial. We're just going to speed this up. And this will pop up and this is where you need to learn and understand how this works. I really love the brush tool. You can mess around with this really, really easy. And you can just create as much as you want. We do have a, a free mode here so you can move. Go back to escape. I can change this. I can change this to air. You can even use air blocks as well. So we'll go with air. Get rid of all of these. It's going to be great for map makers who just want to completely create custom maps and release them on the Minecraft marketplace. If you had any problems, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you out.